loud. Okay. Humans have a natural disposition to altruism. That is to behavior that serves the needs of others regardless of one's own needs. But that very disposition prevents some acts of altruism from counting as moral. All right, so go ahead and stop there. What is that saying in your own words? Um, so it's saying that um, humans like naturally gravitate towards altruism. And the definition of that is the behavior to serve the needs of others. Yeah. Um, however, yep. um, it prevents them from actually doing some acts of altruism, which means serving the needs of others from counting as a moral behavior. Okay, so when you, when, when you said it, what are you referring to? Uh, serving the needs of others. Yeah, so essentially like our, 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 nat our natural disposition, right? Which is, you are right where it is. So like our, so our very disposition or our natural disposition to serve others actually prevents us from, actually prevents some of our acts of altruism to count as moral. So like it's, I'm already kind of predicting here as, so like just like, um, like, okay, anyway, well, sorry, we'll go on. Go ahead and continue. Reason plays an essential role in any moral behavior. Only behavior that is intended to be in accordance with a formal set of rules or moral code can be considered moral behavior. Okay, so once we get done reading and stimulus, we have to ask ourselves, is this an argument or a set of facts? And so would this be an argument or a statement? It is a statement. It's actually an argument. Oh. And so we also know this because it does say main conclusion in our question stem, which we haven't read our question stem yet. So if you ever get there and you're like, oh, it's a statement, I'm gonna go on to the question stem and you see, oh, it's a main conclusion question. That means it's an argument. Okay, yeah, because it has a premise and a conclusion. Yeah, so now so. before we read our answer choices, we wanna go up and find our, what here would we highlight as our main conclusion um what is this i feel like there's like a couple so what so, are the moralists trying to convince us of uh they're trying to convince us that uh even though altruism is a natural disposition there are some rules that uh apply to altruism to count as a moral behavior. And the only way for it to count as a moral behavior and altruism is a formal set of rules or moral codes, so but he gave, doesn't really tell us the rules. You gave me an excellent summary of the stimulus, but okay, so like if I asked you like to summarize it, that's exactly what you did main conclusion is like what is this person specifically arguing for what are they trying to defend or what are they trying to claim or what are they trying to prove to us that altruism is not completely defined by its definition okay so let's go ahead and break this down into our parts of argument so this okay. first part here what it what what part of the argument is this that I just put in green? I feel like that's the conclusion. This is actually, this is, this is a definition. This is just a fact, background information. Like okay. you, we're not arguing that humans have this natural disposition, right? Like that's just an accepted premise or that's just something that's true. Okay. And like, and so we're defining it. Like humans have this thing and this is what it is. But okay. So now we kind of bring in an opinion here and we're like, but that very disposition prevents at least one act of altruism from counting for, as moral. And I want to be like, well, why? Okay. I have no reason to say that. And then we go on and we give some facts that are premises here to support that. So reason plays an essential role in any moral behavior that sentence is just a fact, right? It's a detail. And why are we saying that? To support that this 
some varied disposition prevents at least one. And then our last sentence, only behavior that is intended to be in accordance can be considered moral. This also just supports this fact here. So our conclusion is going to be, but that very disposition prevents at least one act of altruism from counting as moral. Oh, so can you yeah. see? Can you see? I didn't it, like. Yeah, I didn't even get that. <laughs> one of the no, you're fine. One of the most common LSAT structures is to give us kind of like a definition or opinion of others, reject it, and then offer support for that rejection. So opinion, opinion of others or background opinion. information or kind of like or a fact you know like so here it's not really an opinion of others it just it's a definition right it's kind of like mm -hmm. this is what some people say or this is what is a fact and then we reject that or we kind of or even if we don't fully reject it we just we like we say but that's not completely accurate and then we show why and then not accurate and then uh show why show why rejected or, or yeah why we're rejecting that or why we're saying that's not complete the conclusion can be the first sentence it can be in the middle or it can be at the end but now that we know that this is a main conclusion question we're looking for the answer choice that most reflects this yellow sentence so go ahead and start with a and tell me if you love it leave it or hate it but that very just some answer from continue counting as moral. Uh, no, I hate it. For A? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all moral codes prohibit selfishness. That's not what we're arguing for. Mm -mm. I don't like B either. All moral behavior is motivated by altruism. Nope, that's not what we're saying. That's not our conclusion. Mm -mm. Behavior must serve the needs of others in order to be moral behavior. Mm, maybe. Is that what the, so look, go back to that yellow sentence and tell me, is that what the yellow sentence is saying? No. No, where is C at in our argument? The first sentence. I think it's actually the last sentence. Oh, behavior must serve the needs of others and oh, yeah. So what part to of be the moral? Argument, yeah, so what part of the argument is C? Uh, it's just a premise. Excellent. Yep. All right, what about D? Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so not all, I like that, not all, not all altruistic acts are moral behavior. What does not all mean? Uh, not all meaning not 100%. Yeah. So anywhere like, from like, like one, one to 99. 9%, yes. Yeah. Does that fit into some? Absolutely. Yeah. And then what about E? No, that, that, that's through use of, re yeah, who cares? That's another, yeah, that's has nothing to do with it. Excellent. 